Valentine's so today I am doing a quick video about um, just how to prevent breakouts and five things that are probably causing you to break out without you even realizing that they're the reasons why you're getting bumps so the first one is uh, something that I think is quite obvious but you know it's always important to kind of reiterate it's removing your makeup and a lot of the times a lot of beauty gurus will tell you remove your makeup before you go to sleep at night I kind of take it to the next level I think removing your makeup the moment you come home is the most important way to maintain um, great quality skin and prevent breakouts even further because think about it you just kind of want like you have the entire day like you come home and the first thing I do is is wash my hands and and to have it on your face all, all these different kind of pollutants from uh, the environment and being in a city there's just all this gunk that kind of gets on your face and it's important to get rid of it and wash it off as soon as you get home and it doesn't even matter you're at home you're comfortable just be yourself and fresh face and you'll feel um, just a lot I think a lot more fresh and it'll help you prevent getting getting acne on your face uh, the second thing is changing your pillowcase I know this is a little uh, strange but a lot of people forget to uh, clean out or change out their pillowcase because for most women we use a lot of hair products and a lot there's a lot of product buildup in our hair and all the natural oils from our scalp is it's being mixed in with all that product and it's being transferred to your pillowcase so you want to make sure that you change out your pillowcase a couple of times a week because if you're using products every single day and you move and you're sleeping on your side and your your face is on the pillowcase all that all that products all that all those different um, ingredients and chemicals are being transferred onto your skin and causing irritations so I think it's really important to change out your pillowcase the third thing is um, also something that uh, is very kind of in our face all the time literally and we forget all about make, maintaining the cleanliness with it and that's cleaning your phone and your phone case with uh, an alcohol wipe so making sure you wipe down your phone because it's literally on your face all day long and your your fingers are typing on the touch screen and it has a lot of bacteria that's kind of stored on it from just heavy usage so make sure that you wipe down your phone and the case at least once a day with an alcohol wipe. The third thing is, especially in the winter and the fall, my favorite thing is to wear hats and beanies. And sometimes we forget to wash our hats or they're, you know, if you're having like a structured hat or fedora, you can't really wash them. But the inside rim that's kind of covering your forehead has all your makeup and all the oils from your face on it every single day and it's just building up more bacteria and causing a lot more breakouts so it's really important to make sure you clean the inside rim of your hat with a wipe or <clears throat> if it's a beanie of course just throw it in the wash at the end of the week with the rest of your laundry and make sure that you clean your hats because a lot of people neglect cleaning their hats um, because they don't really get dirty really on the outside but it's really the oils that kind of builds up cause little bumps which I actually started getting once I realized I need to clean out my hat so that's the fourth thing the last thing is something that I am terrible at doing but it is <clears throat> the number one thing that I notice causes bumps on my face is if I don't clean my makeup brushes so always make sure you clean out your makeup brushes it's really easy you don't even have to buy um, a, cle a cleanser for makeup brushes because those are just an extra expense that no one needs so try to just use a little bit of olive oil and some castle soap or um, Dr. Bronner's any sort of Dr. Bronner's soap if you mix um, one part soap and one part um, it could be again Dr. Bronner's or even a baby shampoo and then one part olive oil and mix that up in a bowl and 
dip all your brushes in there once a week. It's really important to make sure that none of that product buildup from all your makeup is, is constantly being recycled on your face. You want to start clean every single week and make sure that you're letting your skin have have just the, the kind of the best ability to uh, prevent it from breaking out from, from old brushes. So those are my five tips and I hope you guys try it out and let me know in the comments what you guys think. I would love it if you guys subscribe to the channel and like the video if you'd like to see more. And until the next video guys, thank you so much for watching and always keep glowing. Bye!